DJ Mini 2 includes a charger hub with batteries, controller, drone, and cables. On the side of the charger hub, you will find the power button, which will show you how much charge the batteries have. It also has a USB-C and USB port for charging. To remove the battery, press the latch to release it. Controller Pull out the sticks on the bottom of the controller and then place them into the controller. At the center top of controller, you will find the data port that allows you to connect your phone to the controller. On the top left, you will find the shutter button which will allow you to take a photo or record a video. The opposite side, the scroll wheel moves the camera up and down. On the front right corner of the controller is a button for switching between photo and video mode. The top left is a function button that can be set to various tasks. You will use the stick to fly and control the drone. Here is power button, landing button, and in the middle a button to switch between normal, sport, and cinematic mode. You can charge the controller with this port. Press the power button once to show how much power the battery has and then hold it for a long time to turn it on. With the same procedure, you can turn it off. Drone. Remove the camera guard and the propeller holder. Unfold the front arms and then the rear arms. Don't forget that for folding the arms, you should do the rear first, then front arms. To charge battery, you can use the USB port. Beside the USB port is an SD card. And the battery can be placed here. To turn the drone on, press the power button once and then hold it in for a few seconds. Repeat same step to turn it off. There is a function button on the bottom of the drone that allows you to connect the drone to your phone directly without a controller. DJI app. Pull out the top part to mount your smartphone. Connect your phone by the right cable to the controller. Download the DJI Fly app. You may need to make a DJI account, otherwise it will limit your fly. At the top left shows what's your flight mode. On the top right, you will see a circle that shows you the battery power. This shows the connection between phone and drone. There are three buttons that give us more details. This button switch between video and photo mode. The large button is shutter button to start and stop recording. This button takes us to the photo and video gallery. Here we can switch between manual or auto mode. In manual mode, you can change your video and photo settings. This button is for takeoff or landing. The bottom corner displays our map. In the middle shows where your drone is related to you. To take off, press take off or landing button on the fly app. Now you are ready to control over the drone. If you push the right stick ahead, the drone will go forward. If you pull it back, the drone will go backward. Moving the stick side to side 
will fly the drone side to side. If you push the left stick forward, it will raise the altitude of the drone. If you pull the stick down, the drone is going to come back down. By moving the stick from left to right or right to left, the drone will spin. If you lost the drone or disconnected from the controller, press the landing button on the screen or return home on your controller.